Hey guys, hope this video finds you well. Uh, so this week's a quick little build, about two or three days it took to build this. Uh, it's a little hope chest made out of reclaimed barn wood. Uh, some people call it a cedar chest or a blanket chest. Uh, some people even use it as a coffee table. So it's a multi-use uh, piece of furniture. Uh, but like I said, built with barn wood, has some uh, new wood, oak trim to contrast against the barn wood, line of cedar. Protect your blankets and all your other linens you want to put in there. So, I hope you guys enjoy the process and uh, let me know what you think.
Hey guys, so I'm working on this hope chest. I went to my pile of lumber and uh, picked up a nice piece. It was a good long piece. I was able to get about three sections out of it. Uh, the problem with it though is it's got a heck of a cup on it. So with uh, if you're working with new wood from the lumber mill, chances are it's not going to have that much of a cup. And if it does, they give you extra material so that you can plane it down and get it flat and square. I don't really have that option with the barn wood because I want to keep the uh, this rustic uh, face with the patina and all the character in it. I don't want to plane that down. So I'm going to show you guys what it is I do uh, when I come across this situation and how I get a, to a board that's flat and that I can actually use. So essentially what I'm going to do is just cut this board roughly in the middle. Don't bother joining the edges quite yet. We'll, go, we'll get to that next. Uh, so basically the warps out of it but each piece will just be two separate sections and when you cut it on the table saw uh, you know typically on a cup board you want to cut it so that it's down so the cup you got two points that are down the problem with that is once you get all the way through the boards want to uh, kind of pinch together so I actually usually cut it so that the convex side is actually facing down and I'm just careful not to put too much pressure on one side or the other so it doesn't want to uh, pinch on that blade and cut and shoot back at me. Okay, so I've got to run through the joiner and the uh, edge is pretty much dead nut square to the rustic side face that I want. So now I'll just cut them down to the final width on my table saw, making sure the rustic side is down because that's the uh, face that I squared it to. All right, cut the width. Now next step is to plane these babies down on the old grizzly planer. Uh, so that the rough side, the side that I don't want to keep, is what's getting planed down. And it's basically parallel to the rustic side. Alright, so the boards are cut, they're joined, they're planed, and you can put them back together and if you look you can actually get a if you get a tight glue joint you can actually put them back and they look like a single board uh, again it's not perfect but it takes a cup out you can use it to the rough, rustic side without chipping away all the patina so yay
that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and uh, let me know what you think. And we'll see you guys on the next one.